smo nekako u odabiru ovogodišnjih tema se vodili nekim načelom da odaberemo teme koje mogu biti zanimljive svakom poslovnom sektoru u Republici Hrvatskoj. Petstotinjak ljudi je prošlo kroz dvoranu iz različitog sektora, od lidera iz biznisa, politike, javne uprave, pa do mladih budućih lidera i studenta. What is now possible in an age of AI that was simply not possible before? Look, coming to Croatia is always amazing. I used to always come here as, uh, on holidays, so I never thought I'd actually come here uh, as part of a conference about the future. But it's, it's really amazing to feel the energy of everyone in this event and this incredible optimism and enthusiasm about trying to design a, a better workplace and a better industry and a better world for all of us. I'm very happy about the Future Tense conference this year. So it's very well technically produced. I'm a TV and film producer by profession myself, so I'm very kudos to the tech team. Hello, hello! We're not on some passive ride to a future that someone is doing to us. We are building the future together for all of us. But it doesn't really matter whether you are optimistic or pessimistic because we need everyone to sit around the table. I'm optimistic about the future because it hasn't happened yet. And so to the extent that one of the things that's got in the way of automation in the past is a sort of technological conservatism, I wonder if one of the consequences of the pandemic might be to soften some of that technological conservatism, might be to soften some of that status quo bias. It's not about the end of the world. And one of the things about humankind is we have the ability to think and take actions. So it's about growth, it's about a better world. So the future is always better than the past. It's worth remembering, given that we're now here to talk about the future. I don't believe the future is an upgrade on the present. It's an invitation for all of us to think in entirely new ways. When you think about the great people that brought us here today, thinkers like Tesla, Turing, Da Vinci, Galileo, ask yourself, why do we remember them? Is it their contributions to science and technology? I think it's something else. It's their courage to ask dangerous questions about the world and the society around them. If you're here today, it's because you're like them. So please, do just that. Think big. Think new. But most importantly, think quick. Because if there's one thing I can tell you with any certainty, it is simply this. The future is now.